finished 10th last season. Mm-hmm. You finished 11th. Yeah. So. <laughs> Back to back is not something to be proud of. It's not, it's, it's it's not that. I feel like we're getting too comfortable with that. Because <laughs> how can you even finish 11? Like, <laughs> no, literally, we've all had awful I seasons, but have we finished 11th? You might have been rubbish for 10 years. I don't understand how you can finish 11. <laughs> I look at our bench and I'm thinking, we're not finishing 11. Arsenal at the bottom. Did you finish 11? No. no. I feel like you're at the bottom. No. no. Did you finish 11th? We're just accepting no. the fact that Chelsea are allowed to be in the it's team club. It's actually crazy. We don't talk about it enough. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, actually, <laughs> we actually we need to strip the title of no, the big six yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 people are doing we're trying to have a conversation about us Leicester should replace Arsenal no Newcastle should replace Chelsea what? sorry guys if you're not watching and Ian has left the room <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Gold Diggers Podcast. Yay! Mm. <laughs> okay, let me do that again. Hey guys, welcome back to the episode. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Gold Diggers Podcast. Yay! Yay! Woo! Yes, sorry, more energy. <laughs> There's no energy. You guys are just clapping like bougie motherfuckers, like. But anyways, welcome back, guys. We have been gone for a couple of weeks. We had a nice Easter break, you know. I'm actually playing. A lot of us were really lazy at one point. Joyce failed to show up for a couple of them. Ain't that right, ain't oh, that right Joyce? That's crazy, man. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here next week. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? The title race is getting a little bit jinky-majinky, and all of a sudden, you're not here anymore. But that's fine. Mm. You were joined by myself, at Anita Abami, on all social media platforms, and we are here with... Girl, uh, at Sigalay on Twitter and Instagram. Shy at Shy Carter. Ella at LFCLs. And Joyce Swifty Swans on Twitter. Welcome back, Sigal. I know, it's been a minute. I feel like I always come on either if we've lost or. Yeah, I feel like we come on a loss or a draw. Did you did you lose last time you were on? I feel like we did. I wouldn't be surprised, but. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's always like after Liverpool or after City. It's just uh-huh. always like, mm, yeah. yeah. But happy to be back. Too. Oh, that was no, Mario. no, no, I wasn't here on the 7 0. I think that was Mario. I would seven never nil. come in on the 7 0. <laughs> I would never come on the 7 0. Oh, I was here for the 6 3. I remember that. Sorry. I yeah. said 7 2 because I remember Liverpool lost 7 2. Mm. More than times ago. To who? I said Villa more than times ago. Oh, oh yeah. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. I will never forget. Never. Virgil van Dijk was that one? Yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, I can't live to the middle. Game. Yeah, mm. that one. Yeah. Never forget. But anyway. You've come back to yep. a very messy week for Manchester mm-hmm. United. My United, they lost two out of three games? We got two points in three games. Two points in, in three, three games. games, yeah. How does that make you feel? And two of the games we lost in the dying minutes, in the 97th mm. plus minute. Tell me, how did that make you feel? <laughs> like, <laughs> it was no, it was very, ex- Brentford was very expected. Mm. Chelsea, I'm not gonna lie, went into there thinking we would at least draw. Mm-hmm. To come out with a loss in the 98th minute because of a penalty because D- Dallow decided to have a brain fart. And I've been a Dallow stan for a minute. Like, I don't know how mm-hmm. long I've been trying to push the Dallow propaganda. He's better than, I thought, some some fullbacks. Only for him to let me down like that. What, what, I couldn't believe it. What, 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 yeah, I know she was back? thinking of, <laughs> I know you were thinking of a name, man. <laughs> yeah, which the one that doesn't want to play for his country, that one. <laughs> Are you talking about Ben, ben White? Yeah, Ben White. Oh. Dallas not better than Ben White. Yeah, Sorry. See, I'm not, it's not even worth debating. And I don't even rate White like that, but I'm not having mm. it. And then, yeah, he decided to disgrace me. On t- Although, to be honest, I don't know. It's debatable if it even was a penalty, but if you're going to, like, trip up in the box like that, you're expected. Like, it, it, was it, it was clumsy. Was it was very clumsy, clumsy of him. Oh. And he wasn't even going anyway, so I don't know why yeah, he did that. Fa- we'll come to that. We're going to go oh. through match by match. Okay, so which one? <laughs> Do you know what? If I wanted to be wicked, we'll start mm. at Brentford. But, but... How did you feel when Matt scored? We'll start. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If we want to start pitching like this, <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's start with Liverpool. So, you know, yeah. it's fresh off our minds, mm-hmm. right? So, you drew with Liverpool 2-2. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And to be fair, 2-2 was, a, in my opinion, a good result mm-hmm. for Manchester United, no? Mm-hmm. So, we went into the game with, what? Kambuala centre back with Maguire, so we're on our like fifth, sixth centre backs. Not that that makes a difference. We we lost seven 0 with Martinez and Brown, so I wasn't expecting too much. Um, going off the Chelsea game, I thought there is no way they can disgrace me twice in a matter of four days. We went into the first half. We had five good minutes, five good minutes, if that, and the rest of the half was just Liverpool, just Liverpool in first gear. 
shot after shot after shot. We didn't have a single shot in that first half. Not a single shot at Old Trafford. Mm. A single shot. Liverpool were comfortable. And if it had been for better finishing, they should have been like four or five up going into the second half. Ella, have you computed all your thoughts? Yes, I like I was right. Like I thought they started decent. Like what? Like Wait, first yeah, couple minutes? No, no, no. You put the ball in the net, right? And yeah, it was gotcha. yeah. 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 They started yeah. decent. Um, but yeah, we pretty much took control of the game for the remainder of the first half. Mm. Um, don't know what was going on with our finishing. Just silly, silly decision making. Mm. Indecisive players. But the hideous twins put us. Who are the hideous twins? Nunes and Diaz. They gave us the one little lead. Yeah. We took it and then. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, they are. Because I don't understand. These two, they look, they're very chaotic. They mm. look like they're doing something, mm. but a lot of the time they're not doing enough. Mm. They look like, like crackheads. Like, even that Nunes, the one where he was one-on-one -on -one and he wanted to pass it to Diaz. Mm. Why? He's right in front of the goal. Have a shot. It's like, Diaz never actually shoots when you watch him. He gets the ball. He gets in a great position, does a couple of stepovers, goes around himself, and either loses the ball or passes it to an opposition player. Like, it's not good enough at this level. And it showed again, like, three, what, three weeks ago when we played you last time? Mm. Similar story, and that was my worry at half time because what you guys didn't have a single shot, and what a surprise that the first shot is a mistake from our part straight into the net from Bruno Fernandes, which was a good finish, but it was silly from Kwanzaa. And at this level, you get punished, he'll learn from that, though. Oh, he but we we're not taking prisoners here, Anita, okay, because sorry. <laughs> apologies, I'm sorry, he's starting ahead, <laughs> he's starting ahead of Konate. No idea what's going on with him. Wait, sorry, is Kanate fully fit to be starting? I don't know. My brother's rarely ever it's, fit, man. It's <laughs> it's he's, so real. he's never fit. He's never fit. Like, he plays Sheffield United, he plays Sparta, but he missed Man City, he missed Man United twice. Like, these are the games where we need mm. our best centre back. Um, and I feel for Van Dyke because since he's come to the club, he hasn't had a consistent centre back partner. It's always a revolving door next to him, and it's, it's just a shame. Because we're wasting prime Virgil van Dijk years wow, wow, on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> we're wasting, we're wasting, wasting years. Because I, I just feel sorry for him because he was just kind of clearing up mess. And even though Kwanzaa didn't play terribly, the mistake was costly, and it turned the game again. Like similar, similar to Arsenal, stupid mm. mistake turns the game. A mistake that Van Dijk made. By yeah, the way. No, yeah, I know, I know, I know, but. Oh. Um, it was such a Bruno Fernandes thing like, to have an awful game. Like he was actually having a disaster. Score, score. Do you know what? I'm so excited so that everyone, all the Arsenal fans were seated, all the Chelsea fans mm. were seated to watch what we have to witness every day with Bruno Fernandes. Mm. Every game is like that. He'll have the worst game of his life and then he'll score a world year. Now we've all forgotten that, that first half that he's had. The thing is, yeah, I don't mm. think Man United fans forget anymore. Like he can score a massive, he can score the winning yeah. goal. Nah, but we're gaslighted to think he's a good player. <laughs> you gaslight We him. are, the commentators, the pundits, everyone tries to remind us that, oh, Bruno's the only one that scores for us. Bruno's the only one that can like pick a pass. Bruno's the only one that can do that. But we have to experience that kind of level of playing in the first half. Like that was mm. absolutely disgraceful. But no, he scored a banger, we're gonna forget it. Like, mm. no. Speaking of He's Bruno Fernandes, in fact, no, we'll come to Bruno Fernandes yeah, in a second because we've got one. a lot to talk about at Man United. We haven't had mm. a Man United fan in a, in a minute. <laughs> Moyo. We haven't had a Man United <laughs> fan in a minute. But let's stick on Kwanzaa and let's stick on Kobe Maino as well. So let's look at these two youngsters, right? Mm. Kwanzaa, he's having, I think he's having a pretty decent season. No, he's he? having a good season. Like he stepped, he stepped in, he was on loan. I can't even remember who he was on loan to last season. Um, I have a League One, I think. So to, to come in, um, obviously Matip getting his ACL injury. He stepped in at times when we needed him. Like Man City, he looked good. But at the end of the day... No further comments, man. <laughs> <laughs> no further comments. Man. At the end of the day, it's it's the big league and you can't make a mistake like that because, as you saw, completely turned the game. We were so comfortable. Mm. Um, we were looking for that second goal. And obviously, I don't blame the result on him because we should have had two, three, four before that mistake happened. Um, but games are about moments. And for me, Man United are a moments team. Mm. So they rarely have a good performance, but they get 
they're very jabby, they're very annoying. They get these moments where they're like fleas. Mm. It's annoying, yeah. And it's they're a, driven, obviously, like for real, Liverpool. For they're real. always going to be a bit more motivated exactly, to get a exactly. result. Exactly. Um, and that's exactly what happened in the cup game. It's exactly what happened in this game. Um, but yeah, I thought we had. I mean, Maynard's goal again. It's a very good goal. Elite, elite footballer, elite footballer, supreme talent. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Kobe, you know, I don't want to hear anything. People are trying to say that he shouldn't get his England call up and that it should be people, the likes of Curtis and Jones, Curtis Jones and Harvey Elliott. I mean, Curtis Jones. Jones. What are the, <laughs> what are the random season. other Curtis midfielders? Curtis Jones had a very good season, by the way. No, Kobe <laughs> Mania, I'm so sorry, he's a supreme, supreme talent. And I just want to say, you know, Gary Neville was trying to dig him out in commentary. I don't know if anyone was listening. I don't know if you guys... What did he was, say? He was doing a lot of, like, he was trying to blame him for the poor positioning and the poor movement in the team. He tried as to if, blame him for the goal, is not it? He tried to blame him for the goal. He tried to blame him for the gaps in midfield. Everyone knows you, when you watch United, there's bare gaps in the midfield, and that's because of Ten Hag that's nothing to do with an 18 year old midfielder and Gary Neville was trying to say that his positioning was poor but Ten Hag is the one that set up with four attackers and wanted to leave this like massive hole in the middle that's nothing to do with my midfielder so yeah I love him supreme talent and I'll take that and can I just mention other supreme talents that were on the bench why is um, Ten Hag not even rewarding Ahmad with, with a few minutes supreme. after what he did against Ooh, well, supreme. He potentially supreme talent okay. but like <laughs> we won't be know sure. because <laughs> um, Ten Hag wants to bring on Amrabat and Mount in the last couple of minutes what are they going to do please tell me I don't they were trying like, to hold on to the lead didn't they? hold on to the lead where the, like they tried to do at Liverpool where they tried no, they tried to do sorry at Chelsea where they tried to keep the ball and then no yeah I don't think for me I don't understand United's theory of defending leads you can't defend they can't like, defend at all. You might as well keep going, right? You might as well keep uh, yeah. on the front foot. Whilst they're on the front foot, that's that's when they look the best. Mm. You don't have mm. the players to sit back and defend for the best part of even 10 minutes. When he brought Amrabat on the pitch, they just for look what? silly. <laughs> it, I, I don't see why Garnacho got taken off in terms of going forward. And I think at that time, the momentum was still with United. Mm. You don't have what it takes to defend a lead, keep on the front foot. It made no sense whatsoever. Exactly, yeah. So, seeing as that's the case with Man United, why did Liverpool struggle so hard to get back into that game? Like, I was what I was I was very frustrated for mm-hmm. you mm. as a Liverpool fan because it just didn't make sense as to how you lost so much control within that game. Obviously, I can't talk because Chelsea mm. did, but we're shit. So, looking at Liverpool do that, it was mm. just like, what to the hell honest, happened? What conspired? This is this is football sometimes because we had control for what maybe seventy five minutes of that game. It was just that period where again a mistake completely turned the game. The crowd was up. It was just a bad moment, and I think Klopp made subs just then and then he had to make more subs so now the subs were trying to find rhythm and we're trying to kind of regroup but fair enough we regrouped we got the penalty don't know whether it was one um we leave with a point feels like a loss because <laughs> we dropped crucial points um i'm sorry but liverpool's the i'm not surprised that they and that game ended in a draw against the top teams this season they've been shocking you're the traditional <laughs> big <laughs> six. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean if you look at them against the big six, right, they have got one more game to play and they've only got one win out of it. That's not a fluke or accidental. Mm-hmm. It just shows when it's time for them to rise to the occasion against the top six, this team, they faltered. I it's a hole in their season. No, mm-hmm. I... I agree and I disagree. I agree results-wise, we'd be nowhere near good enough in terms of the top six, especially at Anfield. That's what's been most disappointing. Um, Performance-wise, we've been good enough to win the games, but we don't have intelligent forwards. We don't have decisive players up front. And I told, I said last time on the pod, to go from Firmino, Mane and Salah to these group of players without Jota, it's mm. hard to watch. Jota's not exactly smart either, though. No, but he's, he can finish. Mm. And at the end of the day, that's what wins games. I mean, Jota on any of these chances, it's two, three, four, we're up. Um, and again, you can go back to City. We absolutely had them in that second half. And if it wasn't for Diaz and his stupidness, we, we, we'd take the win. Mm. Okay. It's... Do you, do you agree with that? I'm, I'm having flashbacks, man. I'm just sitting now thinking, what the fuck, man? <laughs> 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 I'm just, I'm just, I'm just sitting here really thinking, this is the title race I'm in, man. <laughs> this is, <laughs> 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 I'm going to 
gonna discuss Man City and mm. their stake in this title race. Yeah, by the way, don't I'm you not, worry, man. I'm not. Really I'm not. I'm not buying the vision at the moment either, you man. I'm, I'm not. Sa- I'm, I'm not buying what they're selling right now. <laughs> as long as we're on the same page, we'll come to that. But I'm really not buying it. But watching Liverpool versus Manchester United today, looking at the title race as as a neutral, as a neutral, I, I couldn't be more happier. That being said, you know, none of you guys got like. You know, you didn't come with leave with a win, so I'm happy. You know, United, no win for you guys. Sorry to hear that <laughs> again. Um, as for Liverpool, I'm I'm happy where the table's at, at the moment. To be quite honest, I mean, obviously the thing is, uh, in the end, it's going to be a bit more embarrassing for Liverpool. City are nowhere near Worse. the best team at the moment. They ha- this isn't the best City mm. side in the last five seasons. Let's what? be so real. So. To have a title race that we're currently have, having right now, if Liverpool don't win it at the end of the season, it's going to be a bit embarrassing. Do you what? think? <laughs> right. no, if I anything, don't. Liverpool are Yo, currently what? performing the best think? out out of all the teams currently. Ah, you're performing no. a lot better than we uh, are. You know oh, no, no, I think we're performing better than you are, but I don't think we're performing, performing at our best either. Oh, no, no, no 100% no. But considering, considering where we know levels are in terms of city levels yeah. and what we can be, where... I Miles personally don't want to hear all of that missing player <laughs> stuff. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> okay. But it's, it's, uh, it's very relevant. No, I mean, no, I'm no, not. No, it's not an excuse for me. It's not an excuse, but I don't think Liverpool have played consistently at their best this season. I but don't. I think even when you had your better players, you were still scraping. Your nah, defence was still leaking I, goals. I disagree because that period from December into January where we regained top spot, I think we were very, very good. It was when Trent The same January you played Arsenal? I said... From December to January. Oh. So when we beat you the first time in the <laughs> FA Cup. FA Cup <laughs> yeah. But well, you played back. your full team. You played your full team. You played your full strength team. So and we were missing some Magic of the FA Cup. No. Okay, let's do it. That's so shameless. I mean, it, uh, anyway. if we go back to what Ella said, Arsenal won when it mattered and that was the free points. Yeah, that's, that's fair. You won when it, where it mattered and unfortunately we just haven't got going. Like we've, mm. we've I commend Liverpool for being in this position. Um, not having Salah, I don't even know no, what's going on with no, him. I said not having Salah whilst Sorry, he's on the pitch the full night. They're not about to run this narrative because what, a what few narrative? weeks ago it was we've lost one game all season. Oh, we've you lost are two, but two now, but I'm saying at the point where he where you had lost one, you are where you are supposed to be. Like when well, yeah. it comes to Liverpool and City fans, when it goes a bit hairy, they try to play this underdog card. You lot are playing the underdogs. You, can I ask you? Did any of you guys think that Liverpool would be in this position at the start I, of the I season? I told you at the start of the season. Like, like, I want. Liv- I think Liverpool's gonna win the league. Mm. Did I you? said it. Don't you remember? Then you're no. like, oh, need to, need to, need to. Because I've got no, the no, prediction. No. I've got the prediction on my. Do you phone. not remember when we sat here no, and I, I said Liverpool and I I put um, Tottenham in the title race as well? But I said I think Liverpool's gonna win the league. Yeah, I don't remember that. This was way back. I didn't give I any said Liverpool was going to win the league. I said it. Hmm. Is that s- more you're hoping for, though? Yeah. yeah. No, I no, no. As in, no, no, no. I said you're going to win the league. Mm. I said it before everybody said it. Yeah, I had when, faith. when we did that, when we did our, when we did our um, space on the, before the first game was played, no one predicted Liverpool in the top two. Pip like, predicted us fifth before place. Before you guys kicked a ball, like, obviously, That's like, crazy. Mm. Fifth place is crazy. Exa- exactly. <laughs> no, no, That's crazy. No one That's really crazy. expected Liverpool to be in this position. Fair enough. I expected us to be way better. And I said, even on the group chat, I, we should win this league. Because seven games to go, you should be winning the league. Will we win the league? I don't know. It's a hard call. But I do have expectations and high expectations for Liverpool to win the league. Whether... We have our full strength team on the pitch or not? I think you're going a bit negative because if you think about, it, we have seven games left and Liverpool have the easiest um, run oh, of games. Oh no, 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 no! That's no. not City true. We do. <laughs> we do. We do. The last five. We have an easier run than Arsenal do, for example. We got no. We got, no, the, no, we got the hardest. You have the hardest. United. They have Tottenham. We they got have Chelsea. Chelsea. From what I've seen, we have Villa. We have Villa. We have Tottenham. Villa. We have. We have like that's not a that's difficult it. running. Everton, like, Ever- listen, Everton. Oh always, my god, always Everton really hype. No, 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 no. Always, no. Liverpool fans. Every they, single yeah, time you guys play Everton, oh, it's Everton's a hard. Derby. They go smack them four 0 It's a derby. It's the most it's boring easy. derby. It's the most one-sided derby I've ever it, seen. It doesn't matter. When's the last time Everton took points off you? Or oh, one at COVID. least. Covid. That was Covid. <laughs> my days. <laughs> what? Come no. on, man. I think if we're looking at the running, listen. If we're, looking looking away. <laughs> if we're looking at that <laughs> running, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, think the, I think the draw today favours yeah. Man City the most when you look oh, at the fixtures. 
For sure. Man City will win all their games. As of right now, I'm not sure they will. I don't think Man City they will. will. Because even, even when we look we at win even when you look at the Palace game yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. It was a quality issue that Crystal Palace couldn't finish. Like Man City, just like Liverpool, in my opinion, you're giving away chances but you're not being punished for it. Mm. I mean we were today. But I don't think you gave away that much chances though. I know, but still. And United have always been a team where, generally, as yeah. crap as they are, they got some finishers. <laughs> as yeah, crap I mean, as they yeah, are, through through Jose, through Oli, they got some finishers. So you give them one too many chances, they're going to put the ball in the back of the net. But I think the draw today favours City the most, if you look at the run-in. But speaking from my perspective, Arsenal, you, you sit top of the tree, you better not fuck it up this time. I'm not doing it again. Yeah, but your yeah. running's difficult. I don't care. Like, your running's difficult. <laughs> I don't because care. I know like everyone was like, oh, like Liverpool are going to drop yeah, points to United. Like, Liverpool mm-hmm. are going to drop points. But I don't necessarily think Arsenal get three points at Old Trafford either. Personally. Yeah. I don't but think you know crazy, Arsenal though? get three points at I Old Trafford I said this to United well. fans it's earlier. It's Do it's not let good. Arsenal come and wrap a title up at Old Trafford in a social media era. <laughs> <laughs> you see, because t- 2002, you know, there was no Twitter. Yeah. There was nothing. But this one, mm. you guys will never live it down. Would you win the league at Old Trafford if that? No. If, it, 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 it could become possibility oh, depending yeah, how okay. these two play. Mm. But it for me, I think it's going to the wire. Um, I think every team still has it in them to drop points. Mm-hmm. Um, I know Ella said... Everton's a tough one, <laughs> but I think Fulham away is a tough game. Listen, we've got some tough away games. Fulham, Fulham right exactly. now, the form that they're in, they oh, could cause guys, some problems stop. here. Fulham, what? No, you're it's only Fulham in Villa. And did you guys win at Fulham away? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. Because <laughs> I know they cause us hell at home. Yeah, from, from they, they've they've been playing really exactly. well. I'm not even talking. I'm Easy. not talking about names here. If you look yeah. at it by name, Arsenal's running is the toughest. You know. United, Old Trafford, the occasion, not Old Tra- not the United team, because no, you guys are shocking. And then Tottenham's the derby. For me, personally, oh Chelsea goodness. at home, I'm not scared. Like, there's no way we lose Oh, I, why am I even asking? We haven't played Fulham away yet. Oh, you have to go to Craven Cottage too? Yeah, we've got to go to Craven Cottage. <laughs> it's very interesting. Uh, it's, so it's we're all literally our second to, second to last game. I don't but think any team favor. is easy. I don't think any Thank team you, is easy. Because well, we made a hard, a hard go at it against Sheffield United. So it's it, every game, when it comes to run-ins, it's about results. And that's that's it. it. Doesn't matter about performances. Mm. I still think City win all their games because I've seen it hundreds of times. They are <laughs> excellent. <laughs> <For> <laughs> they are ruthless. I've been, listen, I've been in this position so many times. Oh, uh, you know they're not playing well. or They're giving away chances. They still win. We still, yeah. we still, we still got to beat Tottenham away. And at the moment, oh. there's no, no. Hold on, man. Know, We've only just beat them. Much, We've man. only just beat them away. And that was but a big cup. Exactly. Yeah. And even so, the game currently is still postponed because if we end up beating Real Madrid they're going to have to push it back until probably the last game of the season-ish. Speaking mm. of predictions... Oh, Chelsea Drew. Oh. <laughs> what holiday? What holiday? Reactions, reactions, quick. <laughs> Love reactions. Oh, no way! Oh, you got dunk oh, by oh, Bernie oh, in the 93rd you, minute. Oh, they weren't playing. <laughs> they were not playing. <laughs> That oh, is so man. embarrassing. Spurs, Literally, Spurs any team can come and get it, man. Spurs won. <laughs> they're winning through one, though. So you can let someone from the bottom of the pile collect one point. You know, crazy. Damn, <coughs> McBurney. Oh. oh my god. We need some thoughts. Come on. We need your live thoughts. Mm. Monitor. Just need Compose a live yourself. recreation of the guy that's <laughs> pouring water over the guy's head. I've gone. It was so humbling. Mm. Like, what? In other news. Uh, Tottenham obviously be in. Yeah. So is that Tottenham in the top four now, yeah? I think it's over. I think it's over now. It'll be top five, by the way. Yep, five. the Typical joint points with uh, Aston Villa. Typical at the Emery bottling a top four race. Uh, no, in what? true Emery fashion. They're, draw- they're on points. They're, they're level one points ish, just goal difference. Yeah, but they're losing this weekend. Five spots. How do you know that? <laughs> <I'm pretty laughs> sure you know that? Uh, it's, it's almost. I think it's a 90%. On, like, how you, like, Arsenal do against Bayern and how West Ham do against. Who are they playing? Leverkusen. Leverkusen. I think it's, they said it's like a 90% chance. Because okay. there's a two. There's two I think we're closer to Italy than. No, because Italy last round they didn't yeah. do well because the Milan yeah, they, went out. All their Champions League teams are out. It's yeah. just the mm. Europa League and Conference yeah. League where they've got teams. Mm-hmm. But yeah, England is pretty good chance. There will be five. <laughs> the top five is heavens. <laughs> 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 Anyways, I'd like to thank Sagal for that because I wasn't even—I completely forgot the game's still going mm. on. 
she looks so stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. um, Honestly, what does it matter at this point? Huh? What, what does it matter? 11, 10, 12. <laughs> it's, it, it's actually true. <laughs> we were just talking about catching United. Mm. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that changes the agenda for today. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> are my nipples showing? Mm. No. So. <laughs> So, <laughs> going back to things that are relevant, mm. okay, mm-hmm. let's talk, um, I don't even know what to go with this, I'm so annoyed, I'm so annoyed. We're talking about the title race. We're talking about the title race. I'm so annoyed, I'm so, so, so annoyed, I'm sorry guys, okay. <clears throat> Speaking of predictions, let's go into Gold Diggers forecast. Now, everybody knows, at the first Sunday of the month, where we actually record, because we didn't record last week, we do our predictions for the month. So everybody knows what's the what's on the agenda. You guys ready to do your predictions? Mm-hmm, I don't really do predictions, you know. I'm a bit oh, of a goat oh mouth. I don't do predictions. We're doing predictions. Can I forfeit? No, <coughs> your forfeit will be to wear my Chelsea jacket because <laughs> I'm wearing this shit. Um, that's why did you even say that? I'm so sorry. I just told let me check the score. No, I didn't it's know not it was even over. your fault. It's fine. It's okay. Anyway, <clears throat> all right. So Arsenal are currently at the top of the league. This um as it stands right now. So who do we think will end this month at the top of the league? I'm sticking with Arsenal personally. Who do you play next? If we make it through this month, <laughs> do you know what? Let's let's swap it around, right? Should we do the predictions first yeah, for the next five matches mm. and then see mm. who stays at the mm. top of the league? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. All right, cool. We will start with Tottenham because no one really cares about them too tough. Sorry, Lauren, you're not here. Um, <laughs> so Tottenham, they got City, Liverpool, and Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they then they got Newcastle. So Tottenham go away to Newcastle next week. Okay. Um, they're gonna win there. Yeah, Man City is right, postponed. It's still postponed. It will still be until postponed. we finish uh, the Real Madrid. There league, we go. So. so that's postponed, and they only have Arsenal at the end of the season, uh, end of the month. Yeah, because yeah, they don't play Europe. They don't. Yeah, they don't play nothing. They've only got Just two games in April. They're gonna be full of energy. Four games. Four games. Four games. <laughs> Not you hoping yes. that energy will be us. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> so. Tottenham against Newcastle. What what are we thinking? Do we think oh, Tottenham? Yeah. Newcastle Tottenham two two. I think that's a draw. Yeah. yeah. Newcastle win here. I think Newcastle win. Is X fit? He got something for us. I don't know. It's, they don't. They don't look <laughs> good recently. I don't know. I don't they trust that. Newcastle. Newcastle yeah. are not trustworthy yeah. at all. But they have a lot. Injuries, like that's the yeah. team that you could say they have a lot of, of injuries. injuries. Yeah. I mean, we you can say Chelsea have a lot of injuries too, but no one wants to hear that. Not really. Mm-hmm. We have bare injuries. Who are you missing right now? Nkunku, Reese James, Malogusto is now gone off injured. We haven't got um. <laughs> Lavia, who else is injured? Yeah, Lavia, 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 Lavia whole season. season. Oh, he's <laughs> played. <laughs> yeah. He played forty-five minutes. And he's played. Yeah, you you haven't heard Lavia all He's played ten. No. He's played ten games. Who? Lavia. Nkunku. 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 At ten least ten, ten, games. ten how games. How many games have Lavia? Has Lavia? He's not played ten games. He's played half a half a half. Okay, we can't. Lavia doesn't. That's like that's like Arsenal saying, "Oh, we're missing Timber." We're not talking about Chelsea right now, anyway. What's your prediction for Tottenham Newcastle? Draw, win. Draw, draw, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Tottenham face Arsenal at the end of the month. Tottenham are at home. What do we think? That derby is always, depending on who's at home, that's who I say wins. So I'm going Tottenham win. No, a draw. This is, this is Posta Coglu's first one. Like, obviously, yeah, this is the first season. So this yeah. one. I don't know, man. He needs to, he needs to deliver. He needs to, he needs to the, deliver he needs something. To feel the atmosphere. He needs to do something. <laughs> What are you saying, Joyce? Win, lose? I, I think it's going to be a win. I, I hope so, Arsenal. anyways. For no, Tottenham. For, oh, for Tottenham. Hopefully. Of course you'd hope ho- so. Hopefully. <laughs> Obviously, I hope so. But also, I don't expect anything less from them right now. He's got to deliver at the moment, obviously. I think a lot of Spurs fans are fed up at the moment with the yeah. sustainability of the football. So he needs to deliver mm. in that derby. Even if it's a draw, they need to come up and show up the actually proper turn up this time. So. Mm. Hello? What was the result last time? What, oh, when we went away, we, we won two 0 They lost. No, no, no. Um, yeah. the reverse fixture. Two two. Ooh, Ooh. So. I didn't know that. Spicy. Because no, not no, no, no. Mm. Because of that Italian pasta shagger in the middle of the park. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. That is why. We <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna go with draw. With the draw. <laughs> yeah. Italian pasta shagger. Okay. That's a new one. That's a new one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going with? We're winning. Arsenal okay. winning. Absolutely. 
All right, you know business. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so let's look at Man United's fixtures. Why? They're like, like no, but why? Look at that. Wait, we're in the top, top four, six. Right? They're not playing any for anything. Yeah, but it's, it's nice. the girls here. Okay, okay. Come on. Okay. You know, it's the girls here. We might as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I never asked for it, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you face Bournemouth away. We lose. Hi. Oh. <laughs> no, oh, God. The Bournemouth are good. They're, they're, <laughs> they're not that good. They're just lost to Luton. I don't care. Oh, like okay. Oh, Away game, we're losing. Sure. Mm. <laughs> and then, obviously, you've got Coventry in the semi finals. That one's going to be a difficult one as well. Lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you said that Man United's going to lose. Mm. I don't know. Depends, obviously. Why? But you know, at that stage, you might just bring out like I'm your weakest, your weakest starting eleven. United are making like, FA Cup final. I don't know what's going on here. We all, that's all we have to play for. There's, there's no league. Yeah. So win or lose, Ella. Coventry are winning. Do you know what? If Coventry win, I will go on my knees and pray that we beat Man City, even uh, if it's a jammy <laughs> one nil. Playing Coventry in the final, I dare Pochettino to Just lose. Just to lose to Coventry. I dare Pochettino. <laughs> I think I'll actually drag Pochettino <laughs> out myself if we get to that final. It's going to be Coventry a Wigan story all over again. Mm. Bro, yeah. I think that I think the Chelsea fans will riot. They'll sit outside Stamford Bridge and riot. Okay, and then you play Sheffield United, who just drew with Chelsea, by the way, <laughs> um, at the end of the month at before home. you play Sheffield Burnley. Or away. or away? At home. At a draw. And you play Burnley at home. 27th sure. going safe yeah we're not we're not, we're not good like <laughs> to say. i want to say that's pathetic so let's look at chelsea oh boy chelsea okay mind your business where are you guys 11 chelsea play everton at home loss <laughs> at home <laughs> <laughs> and i was told everton was an easy no 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 they don't lose that for liverpool absolutely for chelsea mm. not so much no 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 the chelsea won that one <laughs> Chelsea play Listen. Everton at Stamford Bridge. Anana's going to have uh, Enzo chasing shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea play Everton at Stamford Bridge. I'm going for a Chelsea win. Anybody agree? I'm going for a Chelsea uh, win. Ch- Chelsea, Chelsea win, win yeah. 100%. Chelsea win. Everton win. <laughs> <clears throat> then Chelsea play Man City in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. I'm going for a Chelsea win. Very I'm tough. sorry. You're alone there. <laughs> 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 <You're losing. laughs> All right. Where well, are you going, Anita? To huh? Wembley? Are you going? Think I'm going to Wembley ever again. <laughs> I'm not going okay. to Wembley. Wembley won't see me for a very long okay. fucking time. She says that, but if they somehow make it in a commentary, she will be at the FA Cup mm. final. Oh my God, I'll be on my knees for Chelsea to beat City. Please beat City. They're not beating. We'll oh, but do you know what's crazy? And you, the payback. If Chelsea make that final against United, you guys are losing. No, no, payback. No, no, we're winning. No, You're no, not no, winning. no, no, no. Our Wembley, we're winning. No, <laughs> no, 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 I'll see you there. And the last time Chelsea won at Wembley, actually. Yeah, yeah they beat yeah, us. Don't go back. Was it? Was it? Was, um, <laughs> they beat us in Mourinho? Or um, was it who? All I know was a hazard goal. Hazard penalty. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I the know. Last time I won that game. Good times. And then Chelsea go to Arsenal. Loss. I'm going draw. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> no loss. <laughs> You know what? I'm with you. Draw? I'm with you. It's Hallelujah. You I think so. You no, I'm, I'm not even joking. I'm with you. I'm Thank with you. you. I'm going I'm for a draw. Obviously, yeah, depending Chelsea on the fixtures. Chelsea gets top six teams. They've been, they've been hey. decent. They've yeah. actually yeah. been you've decent. You've actually struggled. Like, you've gotten, you've gotten points out of us. Yeah. Work. I can see exactly. it. Yeah. Try and get your three oh, points. Drew at six. Try and get your three points. Try and get your three points. Listen. Try and get your three points. We're shocking. That's why we lost. Did you actually watch that team? They drew at the Etihad. Same result as Arsenal. Try to get as many points. Exactly. I, was, I was coming to me. Listen, Chelsea are not coming to Emirates and leave with yeah. nothing. You never know. Nah, you Pochettino never know. is going to give them them three points. You never like, know. You go. Anyway, I'm going for a draw. Okay, you go for your draw. And Aston Villa are at home to Chelsea. Loss. Loss. I'm going for a win. We beat them there before. <laughs> Loss. We don't know about that. Man. Yeah, I'm a draw. draw. All right, cool. Everyone's pussies. Mm. So Liverpool play Atalanta mm-hmm. on Thursday. What are you saying? Win? Because I remember the last time you sat here ahead of a Europa League game and you were like, you're not too sure. <laughs> no, I said <laughs> we were going to get a draw. Away. Do you want to lose though? Huh? Do you, would you rather the... No, lose one. Not as even would you rather the, like the Thursday nights just end and oh, you focus no, on the league? No, no okay. No, no, no. Just to win everything win everything available, yeah. honey. Absolutely. Okay. Um, yeah, we better win. That's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so. That's my answer. I need to see Xavi versus Klopp. Like, I need. What to happens see if that. we get knocked out? Let's not even. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not even think of that. Positive thoughts. Yeah. Positive. Okay. Positivity. Okay. Then you go. Well, you're home to Crystal Palace. We better win. Okay. And then you're away to Atalanta again. 
tricky th- three games. Well, depending on the score, but still, we might not need to win, but just get through. Your April is really packed. You then go away to Fulham. Oof. This is where it becomes difficult. Yeah, we have to win that. I think <sighs> Fulham is tough. Mm. Yeah, we'll win. You'll Trent, win. Trent, Jota, Allison back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then you go away to Everton. <sighs> These away games. Uh, y- I thought you were saying it was a difficult game. It is a difficult <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm struggling. Um. Okay. Yeah, we win that. Just. Okay, then you go away to West Ham. What is all these away games? Uh, That's hard. West Ham always have a say in a title race, you know. Mm. It's so annoying. I mean, we've got them last game of the season, so. Oh, you'll win that. Oh, we don't know that. (laughs) We don't know that. Um, West Ham away. That's in April as well. How many games? Boy, you barely have a game at home. Um... Do West Ham really have anything to play for? They do. Europe, They're close to United. They can get sick and get Europe League. Mm. Yeah, we win. Okay. I love how you just kept it humble. Like, mm, no, in your head that you knew you are going to win. <laughs> <laughs> you never All right. Know. Let's go to Manchester City. Hooray. Juicy. <laughs> you guys no. play Real Madrid yeah. on Tuesday, Tuesday away. Yeah. L. I think... No, I think we're leaving there with a draw. I don't, and I don't think it's going to be a boring draw. I think there's going to be a shit, not like a shit ton of goals, but it's definitely going to be a goal or two. Why the Arsenal game? Like, it's annoying. Yeah, we know, yeah, know who's on yeah. different days. Yeah. 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 Were they playing the same the time? Do you know yeah. what? I'm, I don't give a shit about that Arsenal game. <laughs> I'm going to watch <laughs> my, real football. No, I'm watching my <laughs> real football. <laughs> Obviously, now with a Bellingham there as well, it'll be really, really that interesting be, that's gonna be to watch. Yeah. Especially seeing that Foden Bellingham head versus Foden. Oh, God. Come on. <laughs> so Who's yeah, to but I think someone like Musiala or something. I don't know. Saka, Saka, relax. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't bite. That's annoying. Um, okay, so you think a win against a oh, no a draw a against draw. Real Madrid? I think we're Does anyone else agree? I think Real Madrid. Would, yeah, I think Real Madrid win. No, I, I think Real Madrid are going through this time. Yeah, uh, same. No, Man City are winning. Look, I I think if they are, they have to be. Is Edison back? I don't think it will be. Huh, yeah, I think. Ortega's think, right, though. But the only thing about Madrid is that they've got four of their best players all on yellow cards. Mm. So if Vinicius, Chiumeni, Bellingham, and one more person, I can't remember who, they get booked, they miss the second leg. So mm. if Madrid do but if they did a City, job in the first leg. I don't know if I remember correctly, but I feel like City played well at um, the Bernabeu last yeah, time. Yeah, we did. We did. Like well. yeah, yeah, but last season, City were levels above everyone. Yeah. This season, mm-hmm. I think Madrid can match. And then we've got to go a couple of seasons back as well when they did play Real Madrid mm. and the one that they lost. They fumbled mm. hard. Yeah, I remember that Dreaming. one. That Boy, fumbled but even that one, hard. you should have gone. We should have. Exactly. Yeah. Should have one of those ones. And I, I feel like that season <laughs> is more comparable to your season that you're having right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll, right. we'll see. We'll see. It's, it's we, we've got the great. European accolades now to you know to back it. So. I believe. Anyway, um, and then you play Luton. Win. Um, yeah, should be a win. But should you know, Luton be. had been playing all right recently. Anyway, so you exactly. know, yeah. they'll bring us game I and think. away. They we we struggled a bit away. Anyways, didn't we? So Klopp is gonna bench everybody against Luton. Let's put that into a factor. Pep, you I was gonna say Klopp. I mean Pep. Klopp. <laughs> Pep is gonna bench everybody against Luton. I don't. Mm. I don't think so. I, I, he see, he was plays respect for the game. You know, you still play yeah. your best. You're playing Real Madrid again. We, he's benching everybody. Uh-huh. Yeah, he'll probably come out with the same lineup as we did for Crystal Palace. Then. Yeah, so and that wasn't too bad. So. So speaking of which, why was Rico Lewis doing? Yeah, who's his ult? I honestly I didn't see that. You know what the worst thing hey, is? I can that away, the, I can the, the, the way the way end in a palace is off my eyes. She not. Because <laughs> I, I was thinking, who's talking shit about Rico? <laughs> yeah, I feel like everyone likes Rico. Lewis. I like him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just because he gets bullied a lot on the pitch, though. Oh. He's still a small kid. <laughs> he's still, you know, like getting whatever mess he took in it. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then, <laughs> obviously, we've spoken about Chelsea Man City already. Yeah. You guys, the majority of people think that Man City is going to win, apart from me. Easily. Um, <laughs> they will. Be uh, 
They will, but I want you to win. I want you to win. Don't worry. I want you to win. Because well, you think you can beat us? Yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I'll see you in the final. <laughs> anyway, then you play Brighton away. Just go play. It should be though. I don't know. Did you beat Brighton away? I don't know, it's man. Because you, it's just not about us. <laughs> <laughs> you see what you you see what Brighton are like at the moment. Anyway, it's just they're like sometimes you you think they have it and they don't, and mm. then sometimes you don't think they're gonna run away with anything and they do. So, at the moment, I don't know, man. I haven't got an answer for you. You have to give. <laughs> but me an we answer. have we have to win it. So I'm gonna say win. Gonna say it <laughs> okay. Um, and then <laughs> you have Nottingham Forest away. That no, should be an easy win. But uh, I don't know, man. Okay. I don't think it'll be easy, but I bet that's, I bet that's your toughest game. No, yeah, exactly. That would be that would be the bogey fixture. Yeah, hundred percent. April's not that bad. I yeah. know you have Real Madrid, but Obviously, around Real Madrid yeah. you have Luton and Chelsea and Nottingham they Forest. Have an easy running. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, compared to what you read out right here, Liverpool. like nah, but like compared to what you read for Liverpool, that's like Wait, don't yeah. Arsenal's one. <laughs> okay, so Arsenal, I left yours best or last. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you play Bayern Munich at home. You're winning that. Yeah. That should be an easy win. Easy win? Uh, no, no, no. I'm They're not with you guys. Economy. None of you guys can tell me that it's an easy win. It's no, a Champions League. It won't be. Yeah. It won't be. I don't, I don't Champions League games easy. are completely yeah. different um, kind of ball game. Yeah, so mm. I think it's we, just a, it's a win. We I should think, win. But mm. I don't think it's easy. No, it definitely won't be easy. We need to be our best. You're, be- you're the better team though, for sure. That's, that doesn't mean anything. For sure. That means nothing. Easy win at home, by the way. At home. At home so like yeah. a comfortable 2 0 win. We need to go with the Alianza three goals. Don't you worry. Uh, three. Because once you start hearing that Yamba Dabba do over there. It's not even it's about not the Champions League. They, they haven't lost a game at the Alianza in the Champions League since like 23rd, no, Liverpool. Um, yeah. But before that, it was like 20, <laughs> 2013 yeah. or something stupid like that. You have to respect these records. Mm-hmm. We need to go to Alianza with a three-nil lead. We, Bayern, ha- Bayern should have not one single fan in that stadium come Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Arsenal need to make it count for something. Mm. They'll sneak fans in. Mm. Sure. They will, yeah. I'm sure there's, there's, I'm sure there's, there's, like, sure there's people that will sell their tickets. There's like a thousand Bayern Munich fans yeah. that are going to be there. Yeah. I'm so sure. T- them scout yeah. tickets, they're going to collect. <laughs> so they're going to go and collect that. But yeah, I, I, I do think um, Arsenal will win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you guys have to go with a comfy win to go to the Allianz Arena. Mm. 100%. They even got their players back. Komen's back. Sane's been past fit. Noyan's been past fit. Oh, Harry Kane, please do something. Oh my goodness, please. <laughs> Nothing will make Please me more hurricane. happy than him getting absolutely locked up by Selena. Yeah, Gabriel. it'll happen. Anyone yeah. else can score, but him? No, no, no. Let's pray. Sick that and tired of his dribble in North trick. London. Um, okay, and then Arsenal play Aston Villa at home again. So Win. I think. Win. What do you think? Win. Win. Yeah. Every morning. Nah. Yeah. Collective agreement. Emery, Emery is not doing. It. Listen, that guy in the top four race. Yeah. When the pressure gets on, and especially if Villa, they play on Thursday, right? Mm, they do. Yeah. If um. If Villa's game in Europe is close, Emery will take, qu- will take the risk. qualifying in Europe rather than the league. We've yeah. seen it time and time again. That's <laughs> that's how he operates. I actually think a draw. Well, too bad it's not your team for you to think. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then buy Munich away. Win, draw, draw, lose. We're going to Munich to park the bus. Okay. I think mm. um, buy Munich win. Anyone else? We're yeah. going to park Arsenal the bus. I think Bayern win, but I think Arsenal go through overall. I don't mind if Arsenal go through to the semi final, to be fair. Who would they play? Real Madrid or Real Madrid? Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Yeah. Yeah. So they're out regardless. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. We need to watch that heartbreak story. Listen. <laughs> yeah, if we what? end up at Wembley, she's going to be like this. <laughs> if, we end up, if you guys end up at Wembley, I'm going to Wembley. <laughs> 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 I'm coming to Wembley. I'm coming. All right, cool. And then you go away to Wolves. Win. Oh, that's a tough game, man. Away to Wolves. Molyneux were not bad. We haven't lost there since that David Luiz mishap. What, the red card? We got a double red card. Leno got sent off as well. That red card was not a red card. card, Yeah. How can you give a penalty and a red card? That was crazy. Shocking. It wasn't even like... There was barely... We're not Mm. even going into Mm. that because I'm not even trying to defend Arsenal, but that was Mm. was shocking. (laughs) All right. It'll be difficult, but I think we'll win. We've already said what we need to say mm-hmm. about Arsenal versus Chelsea and Arsenal versus Tottenham, so mm-hmm. we will leave it there. Now, who do we think tops the table by the end of the month? I'm sticking with Arsenal. Anybody else? I'm going with City. I'm, I'm going to go with Liverpool. I think if if anything, I'd obviously depending on goal difference, we could be we could see a top that is sharing points. Yeah. At the end of the yeah. Shit. But goal difference, Liverpool need to make up nine goals. Yeah, I don't I don't, don't put it past. Mm-hmm. Uh, exactly. 
You can't keep you're gonna find one fixture, one find one fi fixture so where this stat pad is over. I mean, when you look at like agendas aside, ignoring the fact that I support Arsenal, they've conceded four goals in in 2024 in the league, mm -hmm. and we have a goal difference of plus nine. Liverpool right now, how many clean sheets have we kept this year? Mm, I don't know. We don't count. More than Not five. Many. Not many. Yeah, so it's like That's even if we're talking about it becoming a goal difference competition, they need to start keeping clean sheets so that it counts. Mm. Mm. The thing is, we're getting our defenders back, as in Trent should be back, Kanate should be back, goodness me, and we should be playing a consistent back four. So hopefully we will start keeping clean sheets. But I personally think if Arsenal end April top of the league, I don't think we slip up like we did last season. So you think you... If we end April top of the league, I'll come back here and I'll say we're lifting the, the trophy. Do you think we week. end April top of the league? That's a different question. No. Yeah, that's the yeah. question yeah. I've asked. Yeah. So I mean, question, it's going to be tough. We can do it though. Are but it's going to be very, very, very tough. Who do you think is at the <laughs> top of the table uh, at the end of yeah. April? That's all you get out of me. Oh, it's going to be tough. Can we do it? Yes. Are we going to do it? It's I'll just be back at, here. It's just at the end of April. Yeah, I don't know. But no, it'll be interesting anyways, because obviously if you guys end up beating Bayern as well, that's something that's something bigger on your plate. You're thinking now, mm -hmm. all right, semis two and whatever. Uh, that's a lot for you guys currently and you know some people over on that team aren't acting like they've been there before so who's, who's, who's acting who's not acting like they've been here i mean before? last season zinchenko yeah, was a bit of a season. letdown but i'm still saying like in terms of to trophy to be honest he'll have to play no he'll he, have to rotate he could play the the, the prem games as a rotation player he doesn't need to play he makes me sick the prem games <laughs> are just as important <laughs> man. sorry that's he so actually hard. makes me sick <laughs> did you watch him yesterday against brighton no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, sorry, let's, man. <laughs> let's move it on. Let's move it on. Let's move it on. All right, so let's look at the top six now. Things are getting a little bit heated. And look, why are you saying? Because, like, who cares? <laughs> you should care. <laughs> you should care. So Chelsea care. are still ninth. So not top. At least you're in the top half. Mm. Yeah, and they're still ninth for the game and half. They've got forty-four points. Newcastle are eight oh, with forty seven. <laughs> Newcastle are eighth <laughs> with forty seven. Oh god. Stop rattling me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. the forty point mark, you know? Anyway, Chelsea are um ninth with forty four points. Newcastle are eighth with forty seven points. West Ham are seventh with forty eight points. Mm. And Man United are sixth with forty nine points. I don't know how Man United let it slip like that, by the way. That's brazy. That's what happens when you get two points in three games. Chelsea mm. are five points behind you. Okay. How, how much points is Tottenham like, on? Um, Tottenham's on 60. Yeah, they're safe. They're safe. Like, they're, they're, safe. they're fourth, probably. They're mm. battling Aston Villa for fourth mm. and fifth. Mm. And how, how far is United behind Villa? 11 points. So is yeah. it 10 points? Yeah, yeah. 11. Yeah. Villa's 11 also points. on 60 points. Tottenham ah, and Villa that are on gap 60. Is that big? Yeah, yeah yes. man. It's huge. Uh, these three games whole like, 10 killed points, If we had beaten Brentford and Chelsea like we were supposed to. Oh. And even that, <laughs> West, <laughs> West Ham are just like that, just yeah, like that just behind like, you. West Ham are one, one point behind you. <laughs> Newcastle are two points behind you. Chelsea are five points I behind you. I personally don't care for six foot. Like, okay, Europa League, no Europa League. Like, I'm... I mean, no, I don't care. Villa no. could completely crumble, and you could get no. They won't. Points. They won't. How no, can you? You, draw keep, you keep saying they won't, but Emery will. I'm telling Eleven. you firsthand, he will. Shy, there's the seven Arsenal. games left. Eleven points in seven games. That's this, like this thing it is worse. Is Villa, and that requires United to win as well. Mm. Oh, then, like, that part. Yeah, I'm like, not like, sure. I don't, I'm not sure what team. If there's better. any manager that is capable of bottling, mm, nah, it's Unai Emery. But that's the thing, like, you say that because of what he did with Arsenal. But and he's doing the same thing with Villa. Look at their recent, look at their recent record. I don't record. think they're going to bottle it yeah. like that, that much, really. to no. that extent, to not be in Europe. It just or takes to drop Europe. down to a, um, you, um, what's Europa it called, position, number, yeah, number six, six position. Yeah, it's not going to happen. It takes United to be actually very good at this. Which we're not. And, yeah, you've got to count on United like, too. Which we're not, yeah. I, I don't see it happening. And I also don't even want to get it because, like, then it's, if you gaze, it makes look like, it makes Ten Hag look like he had a good season, which this guy didn't. Like, no. No, because he went from Champions League no. last season to Europa League. He, he still, it's still a failure. No, but if he gets fifth and somehow gets Champions League with fifth. Oh, I'm fifth, yeah. I'm not trying yeah. to see that. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't know. Boy, Isn't yeah. that what your new board said? It's imperative to be in the Champions League. Imperative. We were in the Champions League this year. Well, what happened? You finished top bottom of your group. <laughs> exactly. Like, 
<laughs> we finished bottom of our group after scoring three oh, goals, three goals against Bayern and like three goals against Gal. No, no, I don't care to be in the Champions League. Honestly, like, no. What's the point? Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Um, so if you guys had to choose one of the teams, one of mm-hmm. the English teams to get knocked out in Europe, what team would that be? Who is most likely to get, get knocked, knocked out, out in Europe? Arsenal, Arsenal Man City, often. or Liverpool? Only City because they have the hardest game. I think. Yeah, Liverpool, I don't see it. Arsenal, they might crumble, but I don't see what, it. West Ham not included, no? Oh, yeah, West Ham. Mm. No, oh, West Ham yeah, has got to go out. They've got yeah. Leverkusen. Sorry. And Sorry. Villa. And then Villa. Sorry, Villa. Who, do, who do Villa have? Yeah, I don't know that one. I don't know. Emery in Europe, uh, he, Lille. he gets a bit more respect to me. Lille, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but... Leverkusen is difficult. Tough ask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They haven't lost mm. the game. So then, but <laughs> if Moyes Sorry, does Pip. that, <laughs> if Moyes mm. beats Leverkusen, he won't. But yeah, the fans need I to. Mean, if mm. if he does it, the fans do need to shut up mm. about all the complaints that they're having mm. with Moyes. If he does manage to do it, I doubt it. Mm. But if I he does it. manage to do it, but what team gets kicked out of Europe? West Ham. West Ham. West Ham. Yeah. Sorry, Pip. West Ham. Sorry, Philippa. But like Leverkusen is like one of the best teams in the. Europe. Even when they're yeah, down and out, is, they're never it? down and out. Yeah. It it just is what it is. All right, we're done with the predictions. We're done with the forecast. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to Arsenal, and you guys beat Brighton three 0 Three 0 Mhm. Okay, talk us through it. Um, it was a game that should have been done in the first half. When we look at it, I think. Gabrielle's header from that corner, the goal was basically open, it went wide, Saka missed the chance. I'm sorry, can I just stop you for a second? Let's start with the positives. <laughs> I'm going through the game. <laughs> I, just, I just feel like every time Arsenal win, yeah, mm. you're so negative. I am not, I'm just going through the game, like, uh, I'm going to get to where we eventually scored, but the game should have been done before that. Okay. So, yeah, we should have been throwing it up in the first 20 minutes. But, you know, we weren't. We missed some chances. And then we took our chances. I think, you know, players get celebrated for scoring penalties. So congratulations to Saka. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> if someone said it. What the hell? <laughs> 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 Are you an Arsenal fan? No, because, like, there's, there's players that, you know, they are saying he's better than Saka because he scored two penalties oh, and a deflected goal. Oh. So, as I was saying, <laughs> Saka plays penalty away. Cole Palmer Cole. is better than Saka this, this season. No, he's not. He is. Anyways, uh, Chelsea he are battling for ninth with Palmer. Arsenal are battling for a title. Yeah, but we're there's ninth levels. because of Palmer. That's you guys are second and because of Saliba, because of Gabriel, because of your defence. We scored the most goals in the, in the league. How can we be second your because of our defence? Your defence is oh, no, the sorry, best no, in the second, league. First. Um, your defence is the best in the league. No? And our attack is also one of the best in the league. And our attack isn't the best in the league. Our defence is not the best in the league. But Palmer has put himself, he's put us all on his back. That's, that's all well and nice, but you're ninth, so it's Saka irrelevant. Saka is, um, has help. Moving on from that. Well, we can talk about this Saka Palmer team. Trust me, don't worry. When the PFAs come out, we'll see. Carry on. You're not going to get a PFA carry finishing on, ninth. On, carry I am on. carrying on. I'm just don't telling worry, you the we'll make history. Don't worry. Moving on from that. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I think, I think Saka's for gonna me, get <laughs> it's between Saka and Foden. Let's be serious here. We're Foden talking about people that are going to lift What's trophies. For, for young, young player, player of the year. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Foden, that. Can, Foden, can, Foden can probably get player of the year. He can get both. I don't think he can get yet. I don't think he'll get both, though. City win the league, we'll see. But moving on from that, back to Brighton and Arsenal. Um, we took our chances. It was <laughs> <laughs> it was a good game, I think. For me personally, this was the one game where I really paid attention to our defence. I don't know why, but it was like, first it was a bit shaky, you know, Zinchenko was playing, expected. But the way Arsenal defend and move as a unit, it was like mm. for the first time I had some sort of appreciation for Arteta's defensive setup. Because I was just like, wow. Hmm, maybe this is how Chelsea fans watching Jose. You know, your team scores, you don't see the other team scoring. <laughs> Glory days. <laughs> but yeah, um, Odegaard, man of the match for me. Um, I don't know. It went to Kai Havertz. Thank you, Chelsea. See me, I was, I was always on the right side of history when it came to Kai. I defended him whilst he was at Chelsea. And he's going to pay back every penny that we paid to Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> He's already surpassed his tallies that he got at Chelsea. Shock, better team. Um, and yeah, nothing much to complain about. It was a good game. We kept Brighton at bay. Professional performance. 
we moved clean sheet. That Kai Havertz thing is so weak because we won the Champions League with him. Mm. But anyway, you go take our hand-me-downs. Don't worry. You take our hand-me-downs. If he does it again at Wembley, what would you say? He's not going to. Hey, you're He's fake. Not going to. <laughs> <laughs> he would. Do you fake. know what? Like if um Mount um Kai Havertz and not Jorginho Mount. win the Champions League again. Then it just proves just how good that they were for Chelsea. So and what about if, if they win the league with the Champions League? They won't do that. You never know. You are I not know. God. No, 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 no. Shy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but no, nah, he's been double. he's been great, and I think a lot of Arsenal fans judged Kai based on what he done at Chelsea, which I kind of get. But I felt like they should have always gave him the room to make his name as an Arsenal player mm. in the team, and so far. Shaky start, mm. but he's proving to score goals in important games. You look at the turn of 2024, Brentford was one, Forest was another. Um, again, Brighton 2 0 kind of just make because the game got a bit uncomfortable at times. 2 0 just makes that, and then Trossard scoring was amazing because for some reason he was getting booed like crazy, and I don't understand why. And I was happy that he celebrated too because didn't he leave for the, the money though? Mm. Can you blame him? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> he's boo- they don't boo McAllister and stuff though. Yeah, like, he's 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 no, no, no they love McAllister. He's they love twenty. There, he's twenty eight. So. If a team is offering you more money at twenty eight, you're in a significantly better place than mm. what you would get at Brighton. Why would you not leave? Like for me personally, I think there's some sort of things wrong with these Premier League teams like Newcastle, Brighton, thinking <laughs> that they're someone that they're not. Like, you guys are small boys in this team. Let's remember that. Dad. So it, No, but let's be serious for a second, yeah. The way their fans pipe up, even West Ham to a certain extent, with all these <laughs> expectations. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like, with all these expectations. You can't put Brighton and then it's in like, them. No, no, they, they are. And then it's like, you know, oh, how dare you leave my club for City? How dare you leave my club for Arsenal? Like, who do you not think you are, bro? Oh, <laughs> you're, you're small boys in this thing. Respect. Did you get what I mean? have ambition. Yeah. I are they not allowed to have goals? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can have your goals and ambitions, but you need to remember that you're, you're a club. small fish yeah. in the pond. When the big fishes come, remember your level. That's it. That's all. No, but like um, West Ham and Newcastle did need to be in that Brighton category. <laughs> I don't know why you put them together. I mean, they, f- they finished what Brighton played what Europa League this season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Brighton are a small club in comparison to Newcastle West Ham. Well, how was Newcastle, Newcastle, big club? Newcastle was a massive club. Yeah, like Newcastle was massive. Like, obviously, we, we think about their past, and obviously yeah. their past is mm. really deep in the past. But they're mm. still a massive club with some history, and their fan base and is trophies, massive. Yeah. Still the same category for me. <laughs> okay. Like this summer, if the big boys come for Isaac and Bruno Gomarej, don't expect them to stay if we pay no, the but money. But they have they to have let to them stay. go anyway. Yeah. You know, so I they feel like that's that's different. If if you offer your player another contract and they turn mm. it down mm. and, you know, they claim to love the club as mm. well as they do and then they go to another club for... It sounds a bit familiar. You know it is, yeah. <laughs> it's just like if the shoe fits, isn't it? If the mm. shoe fits. But if they do that, then expect to get booed when you come back to the club. Mm. And another else. thing, let me just end on this. Sorry, Anita. Um, Saliba's PR is phenomenal. I was actually going to ask you and about that, actually, because I saw one of your tweets that said this defence is... Um, brilliant or mm. what something like an equivalent this defense arsenal's defense is really good because of gabrielle not saliba yeah do you want to elaborate i think everyone's attracted to saliba and that's why he gets all the audits you see it's sexy. pretty privileged no it oh, pretty privileged it's like don't get me wrong who said who said nunez is pretty hold on who said nunez is pretty he's pretty no, because I think, don't get me wrong, Saliba is a fantastic yeah. defender, but I think maybe it's because he's better on the eye or That's there's sometimes where he might take a ball down in the box and then he does a one-two and he escapes and he puts us back on the mm. front foot. But when you look at Arsenal like defending as a unit, talking about tackles, blocks, leading to shots, corners, that's all Gabriel. Even in the last game prior to this one... <laughs> Gabriel was the reason why it went the way it went. And then they said, man of the match, Saliba. I just said, huh? Mm. The <laughs> game oh, the game at the Etihad against, mm. against Man City. Yeah. It was just like, bro, like, I, I've realised as a footballer, your PR is important. I think even similar when you look at City, right? 
John Stones is there. For me, he's a better centre back than Diaz. But Diaz is very. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I could tap in. Thank you. Because I was literally thinking the exact same thing. Because we say this especially when we're t- when we look at when we're going to internationals and we're looking at the England team as well and how much John Stones carries that back instead of Maguire. But Maguire gets a ridiculous amount of PR. You don't have pre You're missing the whole thing. That's but, you know, me. obviously, you look at you look at City's back line and you think about the aura that Diaz has. I'm not saying that he's a shit centre back, but Diaz the pairing, the most, the, the best pairing we do have is Stones and Diaz. But mm. I think the 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 weight that Stones carries in our back line is it's a also lot. His fault with the injuries and stuff. Like that, that's thinking. He's the only just come back as well. Yeah. That brother needs to stop playing international football. Mm. For the, Even for when it comes to team of the season, it will probably be Saliba and Van Dijk. But I think it should be Gabriel mm. over Saliba if it was to be one Arsenal defender that had to make it. Do you rest mm. your case? Are you done? Yeah. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Did you guys see that um, Rhea was the first Spanish goalkeeper to have five clean sheets in a row? As if De Gea wasn't in the league for 10 years? <laughs> 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 Ten whole years. And you guys, the three who were suffering. Five clean sheets in a row is crazy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna piss my ten whole years. How long was the here? <laughs> and you could do five clean sheets in a row. Oh my days! <laughs> do you know what? The Hayes PR was great. That yeah. was great. Mm. He won Golden Glove in his last season. Though, before yeah. he, he did, and it was an awful season. That season was terrible. That was an awful season. I don't know. Oh, okay. And he's still jobless to this day. So, Manchester City, Liverpool, and Arsenal are in this title race. But it just feels like Manchester City. Yeah, we're just coasting along at the moment. Yeah, it feels I, like I, you're I just push. there. Yeah. It's a three horse race, but you guys are just, just there. I, I, to be expected you know actually I can't lie like obviously I expected a lot more from us and whatnot. but at, at this point as well I'm just dead like it's going to come from out of nowhere I genuinely think that like, right now we're piss poor like I think we could be miles better but we're still getting the results so it's one of those things where can you complain eh I don't know but that's where I'm at at the moment I'm not at my wits end because I think I, I think I'm overly privileged with the quality of football that we've had you in the are. last few se- seasons and even this season we're still playing decent football do you think Grealish that... coming back into the team has improved the way you're 100% playing? that man's cameo yesterday oh <laughs> brought tears to my <laughs> eyes if only the brother could shoot a bit more that's all I'm asking for you know pick up your Aston Villa boots be a bit more confident I know that's not what Pep wants of him yeah. but my god when he actually wants to go and cut into that box mm. he actually does something I just want more of him Honestly, Speaking but... Speaking of shooters, what's wrong with... Don't, don't talk... To, oh, I thought you were talking about Alvarez. That's the real problem. You guys worry about the wrong people. <laughs> you guys what, are wrong what, about... What? what? Alvarez, that... Man. Oh, oh man. <laughs> just... Yes, it was... It just was a bit emotional. You, you just minute? asked... You just... You just asked that guy to do one thing. He can't do it. Oh, that guy's decision-making is actually really bad, you know. <laughs> it's actually oh, though, really bad. Yeah, yeah. Like I know he's still young and whatever, but it's actually really bad considering I don't. It's not even like a proper. Bra- he came straight from Brazil, didn't he? No, Argentina, Argentina. Yeah, River Plate. So he's he's lovely and whatnot, but sometimes you know you, you expect something from him, but you just like yeah, we man, I don't even know, man. I'm actually getting a bit flustered because I just didn't even expect him to be playing. I didn't even expect him to be starting, to be quite honest. But I, but I, I feel like when Haaland <laughs> is out of answers, what do you expect um, Pep to do? Because mm. Harlan has been shocking. Oh yeah, mm. he's he's been he's been below par for like the last couple months. Two, yeah, two two three months sort of thing. But like, I'm not saying that I expected this sort of drop off. But to come from so much of a high in the first season, it's sort of expected. And I don't I don't exactly know where the middle ground is at the moment. But um, mm. he needs to find his shooting boots, too, man. Do you think the team is casing, like, catering for him well enough? Um, or, like, well, now that Kevin De Bruyne's back, yeah. But, like, we need more than just that. And obviously that's what we were trying to figure out when KDB was injured, was who's mm. going to be providing mm. the providing the sort of playmaking that allows Kev, uh, allows Haaland to score sort of thing. Um, I'm I'm not sure. Obviously, Foden's been lovely as well. Mm. So that that's worked in our favour. But at the moment, it's, it's still, you know, that dynamic duo over there, so... 
So Haaland currently he's still top on the he's still yeah he's what mm-hmm. um, most goals scored. Is it like what nineteen? He's got nineteen That's goals. It. Oli Watkins is on eighteen. Yeah, he's been yeah. uh, Watkins he's been phenomenally. Yeah. Yeah. What's Solanke on now? Solanke, he's on sixteen. Remember you lot laughed at me. That's decent. Mm. Mm. You all laughed at me. Yeah. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Mm. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Mm. <laughs> and Isaac? Hmm. Isaac. Isak is, I've got to scroll down for mm. that one. I even lost nah, my the phone. Premier League is dropped, <laughs> the Premier League has dropped off with goal scores. Oh yeah, but that's what I'm saying. There was, such a, hi- there was such a high last season. Yeah. After Bring seeing him back. Like, yeah. I'm tired. I think, I think Isak, it's just his fitness. Else he would have been right up there. Mm. To be honest, he is right up there. Where is he? 15. Mm. And he's been and injured. And he's been injured. Mm. A lot. Bloody hell. Isak's up there. Jared Bowen's up there with 15. Mo Salah's up there with 17. Um, Bakaya Saka is not really up there, but he's with Phil Foden in 14. Guess That's who's up there, though? Cole Palmer with 16. When you score eight penalties, mm. I wouldn't expect any different. He's got more non-penalty league goals than Saka. Uh, so well, where do you go much, from there? How much does he have? More than Saka. <laughs> Give me the numbers. <laughs> I don't have the number, but it's more <laughs> than Saka. Go, go and Google it. Go and Google it. We'll stay on air till you finish. <laughs> go on Chelsea Google it. to get what you got eight penalties in one in one season. That is crazy. That's even yeah, crazier so because I'm even trying to think of the amount of penalties don't we've don't been awarded Shally this season. Zibu. Cole Palmer didn't take all them penalties. Oh yeah, of course not. But that's still don't the you point. Remember when Sterling fucked up a penalty? Mm. Oh, wait, that wasn't that wasn't the league. league. That wasn't the league, was it? But Dubeke took a penalty against his goal. Um, was it Crystal Palace that he took? Who was that? No, but I said eight. He was trying to take. No, 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 wait, hang on one second. Let me let me repeat. Eight of Palmer's goals have been penalties. Saha, that's good. Not, not. How many, how many were has got. Um, fucking Sackers? We've got four penalties this season or five. Okay. So five of his goals have been penalties. What do okay. you make, Anita, what do you make of people trying to People downplay Palmer? Cole Palmer. No, like people beefing Palmer as in taking it away from him, trying to take the penalties. Because Madueke oh. and obviously Stone. Oh, well, oh Chelsea that. bit now. We've only yeah. got like 10 minutes It doesn't matter. We, we I, I, think that, I think that's a bit embarrassing it in is. all honesty. It's, you, you have to show, show some sort of leadership here and taking the ball away from someone that's keen mm. to take a, a penalty, and I, I think it sets the wrong tone. Yeah. No, yeah, I agree with you. Like, I do think there needs to be some sort of, like, seniority that says, mm. look, Cole Palmer's a penalty taker. Mm. Cole Palmer's going to take the penalties. But at the same time, it it all stems from the manager because the manager has to set the tone, right? Mm. The manager has to say, Cole Palmer's a penalty taker. If Cole Palmer's on the pitch, Cole Palmer takes the penalty. I don't care if you win the penalty. Mm. Cole Palmer mm. will take the penalty. Mm. I feel like Madueke had chess to take the ball off um, Cole Palmer and then mm. obviously Enzo had to come and like take the ball off of him and say no nah, you can't take the penalty but he had chess to do it because he did it against Crystal Palace no um I think it, I think it was Crystal Palace anyway mm. but he did it in one of the games and um Cole Palmer was on the pitch but Madueke won the penalty scored the penalty mm. and obviously from that point it was just like okay well you know mm. I won the penalty I'm gonna take it Sterling won the penalty against Leicester he took the ball missed the penalty mm. and it's kind of like okay there needs to be some sort of hierarchy when it comes to taking the penalties. And I feel like maybe they s- they've set the tone now when they did the whole, when Enzo came through and took the ball off of um, Madueke, because mm. you need someone to do that at the end of the day. They're all footballers, they've all got egos. Mm. And Madueke, look, he, he tried to be deaf and dumb to begin with. Like mm. he, ju- he just took the ball and he tried to just ignore everybody. Mm. Um, but yeah, I just think there needs to be a hierarchy. And now there is one, I hope. So. Any other questions? No. What do you think about today's result? <laughs> <laughs> Since we've got time. Just Since we've got we've time. Got time. Minutes, Ten minutes. So. Ollie McBurney, you know. Or you can talk about the win against United first. Yeah, we haven't spoken to... about Chelsea's no, performance against Manchester United. No, 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 we'll Chelsea. start with that. Okay. We'll start with that. So Chelsea played Manchester United. Chelsea played Manchester United midweek. Yeah. And um, shout out to Nike for giving us six tickets mm-hmm. to go to that game. That game was actually sensational. It was a really good so game. Sagal was there to witness her team lose in such a shocking manner. Were you there to witness the, them win? Unfortunately, I left a little bit <laughs> early, but I was still in the stadium, so I still felt the vibe. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll still celebrate him. Um, but yeah, I don't want to. Sh- no, like I don't need to go back about United. How did you feel after that game? Mm. What, what did you? What was your first win against forward? United in seven years? Yeah, right? you see this manager every day, new don't record. Yeah, in the bridge, no, at the bridge. The league, no, you haven't oh, lost. You haven't been no, you haven't guys in seven league. years. Yeah, not in the league. Oh, in the league. Yeah, okay, in the yeah. league. Okay. The league. You know, Ten Hag every day a new record. I'm tired of this guy. Are you sure? Yeah, what was I think you've got draws. 
Because Ollie, we won. Under Lampard, I remember that game. You guys lost 4 1. 4 0, 4 1. You've drawn a couple of games at the bridge. We co- yeah, we've drawn a couple. Rashford's free kick. We had some nil nils that were quite boring like that. I was at that game where with Rashford's free kick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was um very. Ten Hag, man. Honestly, you know, there's literally actually no le- records left left for him to break. Like they've all been broken. I might. I know when he loses to Arsenal, that will be for another. No, do you know the last one that we have left? We've never <laughs> lost at uh, Old Trafford whilst going into half time leading. Yeah, so that's if he breaks that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, it was your first one in seven years. First time since in the league, anyway. Uh, yeah, because obviously you beat us in the FA Cup. Yeah, we beat you in the FA Cup in 2020. Yeah, t- well, 2018. Five years. No, oh, five years. No, 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 sorry. That was the FA Cup. <laughs> 2017. Seven yeah, years. Seven years. Fair enough. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. But yeah, yeah, it felt nice to beat United, but I didn't look at it as we haven't beaten United in that many years because mm. obviously we've beaten you where it mattered in like cup games mm. and stuff. But I don't really think. <laughs> what was the dick? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you think it would like games. push you to like make a run for Europe? Yeah, it, uh, it, it has. It's pushed us to make a run in Europe and now we've tripped up, so... <laughs> <laughs> we ran, we tripped up. Well, I don't know. Like, I really... Ho- if we had beaten Sheffield United today, then mm. I would I would have sat here with my chest up. My, my jacket will still be on. Mm. And I would say, oh, yeah, like, Chelsea can probably still make Europa League at this point. I don't want the Conference League. So I don't want us to go and um, be fighting for 7th or 8th or whatever yeah. it is that the Conference League is. I don't want that. I'd rather us stay 10th, 11th not have any sort of Europe at all. I don't want us to go to that Conference mm. League. And you know what it is? I will be so shameless if we win that Conference League as well. And I'll say we've, we've done the treble with Europe, <laughs> European trophies. Mm-mm. So You could get Europa League if you don't get it via the league if you win the FA Cup, no? And there we go. Yeah, We're not so. going to win the FA Cup. But, but two seasons, if you finish 10th, like low at the bottom half of the table, two seasons in a row, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, but that's at the same time, it's new, it's new ownership, isn't it? So... It's the new era of how the ownerships have started their era. Tenth back to back is not something to be proud of. But you finished tenth last season. Mm-hmm. We finished eleventh. Eleventh. Back to back is not something to be proud of. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's it's so not that. I feel like we're getting too comfortable with that. Because <laughs> how do you even finish eleventh? <laughs> like I'm no, so because <laughs> we've literally <laughs> we've all had awful <laughs> seasons. Right? Have we finished eleventh? You might have been rubbish for ten years. I don't how you can finish eleventh. <laughs> I love it our bench and I'm thinking we're not finishing at 11. Arsenal at the bottom. Did you finish 11? No. No. Did you finish 11? We're just accepting the fact that Chelsea are allowed to be a It's actually great. We don't talk about it now. It's crazy. (laughs) (laughs) We actually actually We actually, we need to strip the title of the big six. I think we're doing... We're trying to have a conversation about Ars- Leicester should replace but Arsenal. But don't no, they Newcastle should replace Chelsea. Do you remember <laughs> when they finished 10th again? When was it? They won the, the hazard league. Season. Exactly. The hazard. What? Nah, nah. Um, it's not it's serious. Sorry, guys, if you're not watching <laughs> and you have left the room. I think it's time to <laughs> sign off anyway. <laughs> so, you know, um, so I think we should end this by giving our midweek predictions. So, um, Joyce, oh. Real Madrid City, score prediction. <laughs> do do. Two two, two. yeah. Um, Ella, score prediction. Uh, two one, Sigal. Sigal. Uh, two two. Yeah, I think Real Madrid are gonna win three one. <laughs> and then <laughs> let's go into Arsenal Bayern. Ella. Uh, two no Arsenal. Joyce. Two one to Arsenal. Sigal. I, I was think two one to Arsenal. I'm not gonna lie. I think slight win. Okay, and let's end it with uh, Liverpool Atalanta. Sigal. <sighs> I don't know, 4 0. I was Liverpool, gonna say like, 4. <laughs> Joyce? I was um, gonna say 4 as well. And Sigal? <laughs> Ella? Me? Close 2 1. 2 yeah. 1. Um, yeah. okay, okay, guys. Um, Anita is back. Thanks. I think I was it's hosting. time to say. Uh, Cardo. <laughs> Hello, Anita. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <laughs> Chelsea probably. D- there's mm. still a chance and opportunity mm. for Chelsea to make Europe. Um, I don't want a Conference League. I don't want mm. to not be sixth. If it's if it's literally sixth or nothing. For or win the cup. Or win, or the, win FA the, cup, the FA yeah. Cup. Winning an FA Cup, I think it saves the season. It just put it, it, it's putting lipstick on the pig, basically. <laughs> but to be yeah. fair, though, you've lost the mm. last two FA Cup finals, no? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two or three. 
Three. Um, two. Did you beat him at United after we beat you? Yeah. One oh. nil, no? Not useless. <laughs> totally useless. Yeah, we, we lost to Leicester and we've lost to Liverpool in the FA Cup final. Oh, and you lost to Arsenal? Yeah, but that was like time ago. We're hmm. counting from Leicester. Anyway, focus on CA. If you beat CA, we'll see. We played we'll you see. two FA Cup finals, no? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut no, up. No, you, you, you lost to us as well. Lampard. Surely. Is that not FA Cup final? Yeah, it was. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what, what do you want from me? Like, actually, what do you actually want from me? What do you want from me? We beat United. Let's talk about that. We, we beat win. United. Mason Are Mount. Mason Sheffield Mount. United? Mason Mount came home. Okay. You let's let's, let's stick for? on the agenda. Mason Mount came to Stamford Bridge and got booed. That was nasty. That's very nasty. Like a homegrown player, and that's how you're like. I don't understand how him. that's that's nasty. That's bad. I think that's to be expected thank yeah. you he's an academy player he comes through the ranks he wins the champions league with chelsea and then goes to his dream club or whatever did he it's say a slap in the club? face isn't it did he or, say or, dream club like he did his club dad he, said it exactly. his dad said yeah, it. but that's he's his dad man his dad like, my dad always speak for me to control your dad like come on no, no, no. <laughs> your dad. That, that's it's true it's but true. my dad always speak for me man it's true it's true and he, he wanted to stay guys he wanted to stay no 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 but you've got to look at it this way yeah his dad put his arm around him in c- on camera I said we finally made it <laughs> to where so where's he, what is he United are no a dad? bigger club than Chelsea though yeah. that's just what it is yeah but United can, is a bigger club than Chelsea which is fact like, it's absolutely fact how would you feel if Bakayo Saka went to Manchester United and his dad put his arm around and said look know, at my son you, no wait hang yeah, on one second you like, don't know on. I was outside when Van Persie said the little boy inside of me there you go <laughs> you there you oh, go <laughs> there you go the little, what little boy inside of me <laughs> there you <laughs> go it's the same thing like even Fabregas kept it respectful when he came to Chelsea do you know what I mean? Like he didn't say, "Oh, I've always wanted to play for Chelsea." Um, mm. give Grant he always Matt said that he always that. wanted to prem- doing the Premier League, but sorry. Matt never said all that. And he's had a, like he's been injured all to. season. He's you weren't right on me today. Like, You've been triggered all episode. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just the girls say it all up, but it's fine. It's fine. It's, fine. it's okay. It's, story, it's fine. But when it comes to like um, players going to rival teams, like Mount is not the first person to get booed no. coming on for a rival team mm. that he used to play for. I mean, look at Sterling. He won't be the last. Huh? Personally, Sterling, I was, I wasn't. No, you don't need to get over that. You, you guys do need to get over that. Over that. You really do. It's, it's actually it's been too years. Old. It's been like what ten years. Mate, I was learning how to ride my bike when you guys are doing that. Stuff. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. I mean, I have nothing against him. And you know, what's crazy? I really like Sterling. Personally. At the time in which but Sterling still. went to City, yeah. anyways, Liverpool and City weren't even competing. Like that. We weren't even close like that. Why are you guys mad? What are you mad about? Because he left to a rival club. Simple. You were right. Well, that's what we wanted to get to, anyways. We we. Well, that that was that our now it's, it's right. so you guys were like, <laughs> the booming. Exactly. No, man, come on. No, 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 the United no. equivalents, but I can't think of it. We Tevez to City? To... Oh, Tevez to City, mm, I guess. But you know yeah. us, we don't really, they don't really be going to other Premier League clubs. True. Yeah. I feel like you have loads. Should we start with Adebayor? Adebayor. That, I don't care about that. That's that why his wife left him broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we end the episode? <laughs> <laughs> In the comments, let us know some of your favourite players that have left their clubs mm. to go to rival players and have had some bad treatment. I think the worst one by a country mile, not a Premier League one, but it's Figo. The way yeah, he, he got t- treated. <laughs> they will talk about that for generations. To be honest, Campbell to, um, to Arsenal as well. Oh, that was Given so how funny. even how Wenger <laughs> bought him out in the press conference. <laughs> That was, <laughs> that was cinema. That we need to <laughs> cinematic <laughs> experience. Can you imagine, like, saying, "Yeah, you reveal your signing in a press conference." Like, <laughs> do you know how <laughs> crazy that is? <laughs> that couldn't happen nowadays. Yeah. That's the sad thing. No, it could. It could. It could. No one's really bad enough, to, though. Yeah. It will send social media into a frenzy. No yeah. one's bad enough to do it. No. No one's bad. I don't think mm-hmm. anyone is like high enough. I'd actually, no, I think Saka revealing himself at like United, United would be crazy. Never. That would be <laughs> crazy. Don't say never say, never well, say never. And this will never ever happen, but Saka revealing himself at Tottenham like that. That's not gonna happen. It will never happen, mm. but that's crazy. Or something more realistic. If, if Kane was still at Tottenham went to Arsenal, and Kane went to Arsenal, yeah, that would have yeah. been yeah. that would have been. He should have done it though. <laughs> yeah. That would have been. Mm. Great. Oh my god! How did it. you feel when Fabregas um, revealed that he was going to Chelsea? I wasn't upset because it was Wenger's fault. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, if if the Fabregas still went down, like he said no to Arsenal and he went to Chelsea, then it would have been a bit like, mm. 
But Wenger looked us dead in the eye and told us, we have Cazola and Ozil, we don't need Cesc Fabregas. <laughs> and I was just like, are you mad? Mm. Fair enough. That's what, what I'll never hear. For everybody here, what has been the most painful kind of loss from your club to a rival club? It's Fabregas to Barcelona. Okay. Uh, I don't have a really major loss to a rival mm. club. I don't think we have like a real big loss to a rival club. No? No, not really. We don't have like players that go to Liverpool. I guess Tevez went to City, but that's not like... He won the league though when he went, no? Yeah, but Tevez wasn't there long enough for like... He didn't have, have that you guys, investment. He didn't have the streets. Yeah. Who asked? No one. Or I think for Arsenal fans older than me, it would be Ashley Cole to but Chelsea. For you, it would be Van Persie. For me? Yeah. No, I care. Fabregas hurt me. Do you know hurt Fabregas to Barcelona? I, I, I cried. <laughs> <laughs> How did Van Persie not hurt you more? That was my captain. More, That's crazy. How did Van Persie not hurt you more? Yeah. Van Persie because to for me, Man United. Boy. For me, growing up, I saw Van Persie like three times a season, then he was injured. Then he mm. gave us one season and he fucked off. Yeah. Fabregas enough. was my, like, Your even goat, Van Persie yeah. was my captain. That was my guy. Yeah. But Barcelona's not really your rival. No, I fucking hate them. So really? Oh! Oh, what, 2006? No, it's just all the cheating after that. I cannot stand yeah. that club. 2009, the... <laughs> 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 Wallahi, they're still going to pay. But anyway, any for Liverpool, apart from oh, Sterling, because you guys need to let that fucking go. Yeah, but that's no, city. to be honest, like, no. um, it has to be Torres. Oh, it? yeah. That's Torres to Chelsea? Yeah. Him flopping was good, though. Oh, exactly. Mm-hmm. Loved every minute of it. That's the thing. A lot of, apart from maybe Suarez and Jabby hurt a lot. Jabby mm. a lot to hurt because... To Real Madrid? It, do you know why it hurt? Because Benitez wanted Gareth Barry. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it hurt. It hurt real bad. Yeah. What Any for Mansi? Don't think so. Apart from serious. maybe. I totally forgot you guys like, were yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like Leroy Sane probably to buy and. Probably Bayern's like, not your rivals, Bayern Bayern just, but that's what I'm saying. No, I know. Like, like we don't have like, any, we don't have any like rivalry rise. Yeah. Like actually speaking, but Sunny was nothing. Really but Sunday at yeah. his peak, what like I remember Chelsea? the last, the last game he had was the Community no. Shield no. game. Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you dumb? <laughs> we don't have none. What matter to United? There may have been, there may have been jumps, but one matter hurt very, very much so. But he didn't do anything at United, so it's like no. But even at that, when he was leaving mm. Chelsea. We couldn't compute mm. why he would leave for Oscar. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like he had one of the best seasons that he's he ever had at Chelsea. In fact, ever in his career at mm. Chelsea. And Jose Mourinho said, "We don't need you anymore." That was so baffling, and it was painful. And then he went to Old Trafford, and he, and then he was went there. to Old Trafford. Like it, that that was painful. Like eight years and doing nothing. Mm. Even the st- I'm not even being funny. Yeah? I'm not being dramatic. This isn't a direct link. Losing Kevin De Bruyne oh. to Manchester City <laughs> breaks me. <laughs> like, it, it, it breaks me. Mm. Losing Mo Salah to Liverpool breaks me. Purely because we could have had Kevin De Bruyne and Cesc Fabregas in the same team. We could have had Eden Hazard and Mo Salah in the same team. Uh, yeah, he, yeah. He what? Fumbled, fumbled big time. Mm. Ugh! Jose Mourinho will pay. <laughs> That's your goat, though. <laughs> my goat. I'm not gonna say who my goat is on on screen, but he's one of them. But he will pay for his crimes. He will. But we're gonna end it on that note, guys. Make sure you give us a follow on Gold Diggers UK underscore on Twitter, Instagram. It's been a minute. Let me redo that. Make sure you give us a follow on Gold Diggers UK on. Tw- <laughs> Make sure you give us a follow on Gold Diggers UK on Twitter, Gold Diggers UK underscore on Instagram, Gold Diggers UK on TikTok, and make sure you follow us all individually. We will see you hopefully next week. See you guys. <laughs>